when the music stopped, everyone was in the, on the dance floor, but it was silence. Someone screamed, why is this, why are these guys angry? Come to dance. Why you shoot rackets? Come to dance with us. Take me back um, to October 7th. What do you remember? Uh, three days before I was supposed to leave Israel, to the US, uh, I go to a big, big party, big festival, the Nova Festival, with uh, a lot of my friends and family, cousins, my brother. Uh, we arrived to the party at 2 p.m. Mm, start to hang out, enjoy. We wait, all of us wait for this party. It was big, like Coachella or something. And 6.29, the music stopped and we start to see the rackets and people start to run in everywhere and figure out how you leave the area. Uh, the area was without shelter. It's under the rackets from the sky in a minute. People get panic because of the gear also. Everyone starts to scream and make a lot of panic. Uh, it's become a big, big traffic on the way out, so we decided to stay a little bit. Uh, we helped to some, to some gear that get flipped because the drugs and the rackets. And after minutes that we, the doctor arrived, uh, we ran back to the car, our camping and we started to take off our stuff and go to another group of us. Everyone started to uh, close the stuff and go back to the cars. A few group and group, 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 group. Everyone that you're coming with, you go with them. We, we wait in the place something like 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, I feel something wrong. I go to the manager of the security. I, I know him, so I understand to be there with them with the radio and understand what's going on. When I arrive to him, I hear on the radio someone get shot. <laughs> I serve in this area. I serve in Gaza. Uh, <clears throat> when? Two years ago. I served on the border, and I know it's not possible to someone get shot. It's not a area of terrorists. If some terrorists cross the border, it means it's bigger. And it's more terrorists, it's not only a group and 10 or 20, it's not possible. Uh, I arrived to the wounded. I'm a medic, I was a medic in the army, I was a combat medic. And I arrived to the girl and I saw girl get shot, three bullets. You saw who get shot? The girl. It was a girl on the floor, two people take care of them, start to take care, I joined them with my brother, my cousins, my friend uh, Yosef, now hostage. Your friend is now a hostage. Yeah, Yosef Chaim Mohana. And I started to do first aid, like a medic, the first thing that I can give. After a few minutes, someone brings for us a stretcher. We evacuated the girl to the place of all the medic and the doctor that start to take care of the wound that they start to arrive from everywhere. People start to get shot, you know, if it's people run away for all over the places. So people start to come back from there, from there. People start to get shot. It was a lot of terrorists around us. And we evacuated the girl. We put her on the medic's place. We go back to the road. It was a checkpoint of police. We start to speak with them to ask them to come with us to the wounded, the another wounded, because we want someone with a gun. But he doesn't understand what we want from him. We was, you know, regular clothes with short pants doesn't understand what we want for him, from him. After two minutes, the terrorists arrived to us from the road, start to shoot on us. Uh, something like 40, 30 terrorists that shoot RPG rockets and it's like division, small division that shoot on you. You are civilians. You are 200 civilians behind Cars just leave the car and start to run in everywhere. Thousands of, of civilians from the party. We was 4,500 4, uh, people on the party. So think everyone running away to everywhere. We start to go back. We attacked by RPG behind the car that we were. 
So we split. My cousins go back to the party. Uh, my friend Yosef ran into the left side. He ran on the left side of the road. Me and Ria stayed together. The two other guys that was with us, that we vacated the Giril with, also split. I, we don't know where it was, but both of them died. And we continued to run in, and we saw a tank come from the place of the terrorists to understand that he killed them all, but no. After minutes that he going all over the cars, he take, take right and go from the, the road, go to the field. We understand that we are in ourselves right now. If you not do something to change it, we're going to die also. We start to run in everyone. And you run in and you, people start to fall beside you. Giril fall over here, some guy fall over here. One of the things that never left me, it was Giril on the floor. That I think that he get a panic attack and I, I, I understand that if I'm take him with me and run and help them for a second and push him back, push him forward, he's going to leave. And I go back and I go down and I saw bullets come from his neck. I understand that he died, that I, I doesn't have nothing to do. And I understand that if I'm not going to run fast, my mom not going to see me and not my brother. All the time we was together, my, me and my brother. And we finished the road with all the cars, if you see the, the, the video. And when we finished the, the road, we understand that we need to take some car to go out. You cannot run in, uh, anymore. You get tired, you don't have cover anymore. I jump on some car, I tell to the girl, move to, <coughs> to the other chair. And I go up and I tell to my brother, uh, to join to me. We started to drive and we saw a vehicle coming from the other side that we want to run into. And driving like this, like he high, but he was get, he was shot, get shot. He get shot, so we driving like this and understand that they're coming from terrorists. And I saw him take a left. I just look what happened, what, uh, what's going on in the left, and I saw a tank. When I saw the tank, I understand that now I can fight back. I was in the army, I know how to fight. That's it. I'm not going to run him. And my brother is the same. We just jump from the car and jump inside of the tank. I go to the radio. I do a course, radio course in the army, so I, speak to, I try to speak with the army around there because I serve over there in the, the near base. Nobody answer. We understand that all the army in the battle. So we are, we are alone. I understand that I have nothing to do in the tank. My brother take weapon from that soldier that was inside. We go out, I start to take care of the people, the wounded. Without staff, without nothing. Improvise. Improvise. Tourniquette and whatever I can. With shorts, with sticks, small sticks, with everything. My brother start to shoot back from the left side. And we take another machine gun from the tank, from the up. And some survivor take it and go from the right side. If the tank is like this, my brother is it's left hand. So he shoots him from the left. The other guy with the machine shooting from the right. And I'm in the middle with all the people start to take care of the people. When, when I understand that what's going on in the south, I send a lot of message to all the group of the army that I know. My commander called me and we start to speak. And I put him on a speaker for a second because I do tourniquet for someone. And they start to give me orders, what to do, how to do, how to fight, uh, what is the, the, you know, the, 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 right, uh, the right activity, how to do it, what not to do, what uh, to do, you know, everything. Order. And I'm using, I'm using with my mind, I do whatever I think. My, my commander give me another idea and order from the army how to act. And we fight like this for six, seven hours. We attack after an hour, we get attacked by RPG. Uh, on the, 
vehicle with with a few civilians in one cup arrive from behind us and all the guns point on them and understand this is a cup. So we tell them to come behind us and close the tank that we can get protect from the from the left side and from the tank. When we stop, I tell them to move on a little bit, two, two, one mile more, not my one meter more. And when he go out from the car, boots on the ground, and he get shot by RPG, the vehicle. Everyone gets shrapnel. I have a few shrapnel in my hand. My arms get hard. Uh, but everyone is alive. We take him out, the wounded. We start to take care of them behind the tank without nothing, without water, without ammo almost, without medic staff. Improvise. Your friend who you were with, you said, is one of the hostages. Yeah. Yosef? Yeah. He doesn't arrive to the tank. I wonder, you know, the, the U.S. is trying to get a hostage deal going, trying to help. Are you hopeful that that, that will happen and Yosef will come home soon? A lot of people ask me if I have a trauma because I look like, you know, I'm okay. I think if Yosef is going to come back, I'm okay. If no, we are in trouble. All our group. Yosef is my best friend for eight years. He, he was with me in the boarding school. We was together for from this day till the, the party. And he's a good guy. Believe in peace. Won't doesn't do anything to anyone. He doesn't hate people. He loves people, but he take him. It's a young boy. He have rest of the life. Maybe he can get over the trauma and be a regular person. But we wait. One of the other things I wanted to ask you about, because we're doing another story about this, the rise in anti-Semitism since October 7th. I'm sure you've heard the statistics and the headlines, and I'm sure you've seen a lot of it. I just wonder how that has made you feel. I cannot understand it. You know, the doctor in the party and the paramedic in the party and the driver of the ambulance in the party was Arabs. Was Arab. Doesn't, uh, doesn't was Jew, was Arab, and he killed them all. The antisemitism, it's people that does, doesn't understand what's going on. It's people that don't know this terrorist come to kill children and mom and, and babies. You know, people think that it's, it's, it's war between Hamas to Israel. It's not a war between Hamas to Israel. It's a war between terrorists and terrorism all over the world against good people that want peace and love, against people that want, just want to make family without to be scared and take care, take care with your guns. It's regular people. You know the festival? If you was any time in festival in your life, you know how people look like. People come to celebrate. People come to have fun. You know what some guys say and everyone hear it? When the music stopped, everyone was in the, on the dance floor, but it was silence. Someone screamed, why is this? Why are these guys angry? Come to dance. Why you shoot rockets? Come to dance with us. Join us. These people come to kill people. Come to kill, to burn. And something very important, people don't know. We take prisoner. Two of them was, we was with flip-flop. Flip-flop. It's civilians from Gaza that understand that the border is broke. So we come in and join to the to the rape, to the born people. <coughs> and he put hands on the air because he doesn't have ammo. So he dropped the kalach and do like this. This is what civilians, without shoes, with flip-flop. It's about hate. People hate the life. You know, people, if you, you separate the antimitism, Look about Israel. Israel is one of the best countries. You have perfect technology. 
perfect people, beautiful country. To Gaza, it doesn't have nothing. It doesn't have one building that do for another people something. It doesn't have technology, it doesn't, why? People busy to build in a tunnel. This why. Why did you come to America? Why are you here? What are you doing? In the beginning, I arrived to vacation and I start to speak and share a story before one event. And our story blew up. It's a lot. And after a while that we speak, we understand how meaning is it for the people that know what we've been through. It's history. It's going to join to the war of the history all around the world. And the survivor from the Nova need help. And I get a lot of power from my story. And we start to help the survivor. We open a non-profit organization to help them, give them a therapy that now people handle with a lot of things, emotional. I saw almost 200 dead body on the floor. One of my best friends born alive and only three teeth left from them. What happened to your best friend? Born alive. Only three teeth left from them. This is how we recognize the dead body. You saw his body? No. It doesn't have something to see. You have only three teeth. <coughs> you know, I don't hate people. I love people. I enjoy from people. And I saw in the first time in my life how evil look like, how demon look like. This is, I lost faith in the, in the human from the other side. And I saw it again in the antimitism that people can put dog poster on the, on the wall and my friend that bad people take him and kidnap them, I can put poster of them because they take it down. So every time that I saw a poster ruling, I feel, I feel something in my heart. It's ruling my heart because if you, if you are the people that take the poster out, you know with Yosef, you, you will be cry and you ask for sorry because it's a good guy, one good life. I know that you've got all those people outside waiting for you, so my last question for you, why is it important that you raise the money for the survivors of the festival? 14 people become suicide after the Nova. After the Nova, it's not in the Nova, it's not a terrorist attack. It's a panic attack that make him to do it. And we need to help them, this is my brothers. He attack once, we need to help them. Doesn't let them give up for the life. And I believe the survivor. I know that we can do anything. So I want to give him the, the opportunity to stand up again. We do for him a big retreat. We do already one for 500 survivors. We're going to do the next one in April. For more, we accept from 1,000 survivors. For 1,000 of them, it's a lot. In the Nova, get killed. 364, almost 50 get kidnapped. And you have right now 3,800 survivors. It's a lot of people, but it's a lot of people that are running from terrorists for 10 hours. So we're trying to do our best. We cannot help to anyone, but we want to, to take with us a 500 survivors walk with them for a while till they stand up again and back to the life.